But the drivers are all ready, and it's a go. Mansell and Senna up to the first left-hander together, and already up the Ligier of René Arnoux comes up into third place behind Senna and Mansell. Now here's the second left-hander, this is where Mansell went off the year before last, but it Senna into the right-hander, Mansell, Arnoux, one of the Ferraris up in fifth place, and thank heavens it's a clean start at the beginning of the Detroit Grand Prix, Senna, Mansell, and Hoob Rotengatter has not started. The man who spun off on the warm-up lap seems to be out of the race already, but now Ayrton Senna, who habitually turns up the boost good and high on the opening lap to try and break clear, is ahead of Mansell, Arnoux, Piquet, Alvareto, and then behind Alvareto is Prost, and behind Prost in about seventh place, in the second Ligier, Jacques Lafitte. René Arnoux is in third position, and up comes Johansson, who started fairly well down on the grid. And now you see them in this typically Detroit scene. Round the left-hander. Now they've got to go through the tunnel shortly, because Detroit, like Monaco, is unusual in having a tunnel. And Alvareto is going well. It's Senna, Mansell, Arnoux, Piquet, Alvareto, Prost, Arnoux, Johansson, and then one of the Haas Lolas as they burst out of the tunnel at the end of lap one. The uh, two Ferraris are showing better form once again since the Belgian Grand Prix they've been a bit better off. Stefan Johansson particularly showing very, very good form in practice here. And Alvareto, who didn't, and there goes Mansell. Mansell has ducked past Nath and Senna, and Nigel Mansell takes the lead. Now, we'll have a look and see if Senna was holding him up, if Mansell could get away at all. And, of course, Senna now comes under immediate ta attack from René Arnoux. Because he lost momentum when Nigel Mansell sprinted past him, and this is an indication of the superb form of Nigel Mansell. He's now won the last two Grand Prix. He's had a second place and a fourth place this year as well to give him his second equal place in the championships. And Nigel Mansell is starting to build a cushion and one of the problems exits the pits. It's Derek Warwick. Derek Warwick out of the pits already on lap three. Senna definitely closing up on the race leader, Nigel Mansell, and this is the seventh lap. What was a five gap is now, five second gap is now a visual one. Both their tyres seem to be OK, visually. They both started on C compound time. No, Mansell's right rear looks, looks uh, pretty unhappy. Senna's tyres look all right. Now, Senna may have been taking it easy to look after his tyres because in a race where tyre wear and tyre performance is critical such as this and marginal, then, of course, the car is at its worst and Senna having a look now and putting Mansell under real, pre real pressure. And he's pulled away a bit from René Arnoux as well. But, if, but of course, the car is on full tanks. It's at its uh, hardest on the tyres. It's heavy. And, uh, of course, the tyres, when they're brand new, get develop more heat and go off more quickly. And so they're at their worst, and it looks like tyre trouble for a lot of people today. And there was a signal from Nigel Mansell to his pit as he passed there, which could be some confirmation of a verbal message he's given them over the radio. And now Senna's going for it. This is lap eight out of 63. The two rivals in Grand Prix racing this year who fought since the very beginning when Mansell was taken off by Senna in Brazil. And then Senna won in Belgium with Mansell second. Mansell's won two races already. First, second and third, almost together. Williams, Lotus and Ligier. Mansell, Senna and Arnoux holding on well. The two second and third cars powered by the V6 Renault engines and Senna now can see exactly what the situation is with Nigel Mansell's tyres and Nigel Mansell's left front is looking a bit dodgy to me. Yes, and having just said that uh, McLaren seems to be losing form, I may well be wrong here. The teams in Detroit have been understandably pretty reticent to discuss what tyres they're running because Andago Senna punches past Mansell in a very clever little manoeuvre. He took Nigel pretty much by surprise, or by the time Nigel realised what was happening, it was too late, Senna was alongside him, and uh, Senna jumps through into the lead. But as I say, McLaren's, I understand, are running on B tyres, and so does René Arnoux go past. René Arnoux round the outside, so Nigel Mansell is definitely in trouble, and uh, the McLaren team, I understand, are running B compound tyres, which are a little bit harder than the C tyres, a little bit more durable than most of the teams.